Coffee Break Swedish, Season 1, Lesson 39. Hej och välkomna till Coffee Break Swedish. Jag heter Mark. Och jag heter Hanna. Hur mår du Hanna? Jag mår bra Mark. Hur mår du? Jag mår bra, tack ja. Ja, vad bra. Du, är du lite piggare idag? Am I a little piggare? I think we maybe mentioned pig before. What does it mean? Is this to be energetic? Of... Uh, yeah, I am a bit more lively today. Bra. Jag är piggare. Piggare, just like the... The change of adjectives, så so, um, pig, piggare, piggast. Pig, piggare, piggast. Okay, well, I am definitely piggare today because we're going to a party, aren't we? Ja, absolut. And practice our small talk. Yes, a very important aspect of learning any language, being able to make small talk with people. And that's exactly what we did when we visited uh, Lovisa and uh, uh, celebrated, uh, well, her sister Linnea's birthday. Ja, as usual, we're going to listen to the conversation and then we'll go through everything in detail. Ska vi börja? Ja, låt oss börja. Let's take a listen to the conversation and then afterwards we'll go through everything. Hej, grattis på födelsedagen, Linnea. Grattis. Tack. Välkomna in. Alla sitter ute i trädgården. Ni behöver inte ta av er skorna. Hur gammal är du nu? Jag fyller 18, så jag är officiellt vuxen nu. Mm. Ja, välkommen till vuxenlivet. Jag går och hjälper till lite, men känner er som hemma. Hej! Grattis Linnea! Ja, grattis! Tack! Det här är min faster och min pappa. Hej, jag heter Mack. Trevligt att träffas. Jag heter Katrina. Ja, det är ni som kommer från Skottland. Vi kan prata engelska om ni vill. Nej, tack ändå. Vi är här för att träna på vår svenska. Åh, coolt! Var i Skottland kommer ni ifrån? Vi bor ganska nära Glasgow. Har ni varit där någon gång? Jag har inte varit där, men jag skulle gärna vilja åka dit någon gång. Jag har varit i Glasgow kanske två gånger tror jag. Det var jättefint. Hur länge har ni varit här i Örebro? I en vecka. Vi åker hem imorgon. Åh, oh, vad roligt. Vad har ni gjort för någonting då? Vi har besökt Örebro slott och Vardköping. Vi åkte till Askersund också och tittade på slottet där. Men det viktigaste saken var att öva på vår svenska och det har vi gjort. Ja, du pratar ju jättebra svenska. Hur länge har du pluggat svenska? I kanske 18 månader tror jag. Ja, det hörs. Du är jätteduktig ju. Du har lärt dig så mycket på ett och ett halvt år. Uh, Hej ni. det är dags för tårta nu. Kommer ni? Jättebra. Vi kommer. Okej, okay, det är dags för tårta. Ja! Time for cake. <laughs> <laughs> Okej, okay, let's go through this conversation then and we'll find out a little more about Alinea's uh, födelsedagen, uh, her birthday. Yeah, and you, you start... Like you should, being a guest at a birthday party. And you say, hej, grattis på födelsedagen, Linnea. So, grattis på födelsedagen. Uh, happy birthday. Ja. Congratulations on your birthday. Precis. Um, Katrina says, grattis. Mm-hmm. Um, and Linnea svarar, tack, välkomna in. Alla sitter ute i trädgården. Ni behöver inte ta över skorna. Right, so, a couple of things here. Välkomna in. Uh, welcome in, literally, but come on in. Ja. Okay. Is that the kind of thing that you might see on a like a, a restaurant or a hotel? A sign saying Velkomna in? Ah, oh, absolutely. Oh, okay. You just said ah there. As yeah. In, yeah. <laughs> I'm recognizing him these ah in the wild. <laughs> <laughs> so Velkomna in, welcome in. Uh, then Alla sitter ut i trädgården. So everyone is sitting outside in the garden. Yeah. Okay. I always get mixed up with tread garden because to me garden is enough for garden but you've got tread garden what does the tread part mean Well trädgård is garden mm-hmm. Trädgården means the garden The garden yeah And if you just hear, hear garden that often means the farm Right okay and I think the reason I'm getting mixed up is because I see garden and then the the en on the end and I'm forgetting that that is just the definite article <laughs> 
Yes, exactly. It's not part of the word. Okay, so alla sitter ute i trädgården. Ni behöver inte ta av er skorna. So you don't need to take off your shoes? Yes. I think this is a very polite Swedish person to explain this. Okay, so typically when going into a Swedish house... Take off your shoes. You take off your shoes, okay. Yes. <laughs> uh, otherwise you just seem seem uncultured and uh, unhygienic. Okay. And, yeah. But because they're going straight through to the garden, in a sense, they don't need to take off their shoes, is that yes. right? Yes. I was thinking they, we didn't yeah. need to take off our shoes <laughs> when we arrived, of course. <laughs> Okay, so, um, ni behöver inte ta av er skorna. Okay, and then uh, I ask a question. Hur gammal är du nu? So, how old are you now? Jag fyller 18, så jag är officiellt vuxen nu. So, this is this verb, fylla, att fylla. Mm-hmm. So, um, it, it means to, to reach the age of, I'm, I'm now 18, jag fyller 18. Uh, 18. Ja. Um, so, I'm, I'm reaching 18. So, jag är officiellt vuxen nu. So, I'm officially an adult now. Yeah. So, you remember the verb fyller. It just means to fill the year. Mm-hmm. To yeah. fill the year. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, välkommen till vuxenlivet, says Louise. <laughs> Welcome to adult life. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then she says, jag går och hjälper till lite. Um, so, I am going and helping till lite a little more. Uh, helping out. So, at hjälpa till, is that the, the expression to help out? Yes. So, um, let's say you come into somebody's house and you say, ska jag hjälpa till? Oh, okay. So, will I help? Will I help out? Uh, could I say, kan jag uh, hjälpa till? Yeah, it doesn't have to be ska. No. Um, and then she says a phrase that I think is useful to know as well. Känn er som hemma. So we learned about at känna uh, a few lessons ago, and that was to feel. Mm-hmm. Um, so here we've got the er, which is the, the you plural form, uh, the reflexive pronoun, mm-hmm. right? So känn er som hemma, feel as if at home. Yeah. Make yourselves at home. Make yourself comfortable, yeah. So if you were saying that to one person, it would be känn dig som hemma. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, so känn dig som hemma. Uh, känn er, in this case, som hemma. Good. Okay. And then we have two relatives joining the conversation. Mm-hmm. One of them says, hey, gratis. And the other one says, gratis, Linnea. Yeah, so they're both giving Linnea their best wishes for her birthday. Yeah, and Linnea introduces uh, introduces these people to to you, Mark. Mm-hmm. So it says, uh, she says, tack, det här är min faster och min pappa. Right, so de här är min faster och min pappa. So one of them's her dad mm-hmm. and the other one is her faster. So is that the sister of her father? Ja, so it's her paternal aunt. Aunt, okay. So it's basically her dad and his sister. Yes. Excellent. So de här är min faster och min pappa. So uh, the opposite would be moster. Ja, bra. And uh, then uh, is it Far brewer and more brewer? Yeah, perfect. Okay. Um, and you being very polite, Mark, and you're doing the right thing, you say, hey, you hit the mark, trevligt att träffas. So my name's Mark, nice to meet you. Yeah, and Katrina says, you hit Katrina. So she introduces herself. And then Linnea's papa says, um, yeah, det är ni som kommer från Skottland. Vi kan prata engelska om ni vill. So, det är ni, it is you, plural, som kommer från Skottland. So, it's you who come from Scotland. Uh, vi kan prata engelska om ni vill. And uh, we can talk English if you want. Ja, precis. And I'm very proud of you, Mark, that you say, nej, tack ändå. Vi är här för att träna på vår svenska. So, tack ändå, like, thanks anyway. Or... Thanks anyway, yeah. Yeah. Um, vi är här för att träna på vår svenska. So we're here to practice our, our Swedish. Ja. Yeah. Um, and uh, the faster says, Åh, oh, coolt. Var i Skottland kommer ni ifrån? Right, so she said, oh, oh, cool. Or um, uh, Cool is also kind of like fun. No, so here, she actually used the English 
uh, word cool. Uh-huh. But makes and, it Swedish with a Swedish ending. T yeah, absolutely. Like <laughs> so if you think about we we just changed it just like a, um, a, a Swedish Slavery. adjective. Yeah, exactly. So you could say if we talk about plural people, several cool people, we would say cooler. In this situation, we talk about some something being and that is going to be the it, um, et form. So it's coolt. Coolt. Okay. Um, and then she said, oh, yeah, so um, we have a Swedish word that is kul, K-U-L. And uh, English speakers often want to translate it just to cool mm-hmm. because it sounds the same. But um, that means more fun. Fun. Okay. Okay. So she also asks, uh, var i Skotland kommer ni ifrån? Um, where in Scotland do you come from? Ja. And you explain, vi bor ganska nära Glasgow. Um, we live quite near Glasgow. Ja. Har ni varit där någon gång? Have you uh, been there any time, one time? Have you ever been there? Yeah. Right, so har ni varit? So varit is our past participle. Um, jag har varit. I have been. Ja, precis. So you have that T on the on the verb that we talked about before. Okay. Um, and her... Faster says, jag har inte varit där, men jag skulle gärna vilja åka dit någon gång. Right, so jag har inte varit där. I've not been there. Men, can you see this next bit again? Men jag skulle gärna vilja åka dit någon gång. <laughs> right, this is one of these ones that we've got lots of, lots of verbs. What was it you said? Kaka Ka- på kaka. Kaka på kaka. <laughs> Or maybe in this instant it's torta på torta. Torta på torta. Yeah, birthday cake over birthday cake. Yeah, excellent. So, um, men jag skulle vilja gärna åka dit någon gång. Ja, perfekt. Right, so I should uh, like to go there someday. I would like to go there someday. Yes. And I don't know if you you can even take this after that, but um, jag har inte varit där. So we have D-A-R uh, there. But that she wants to go there sometime, all of a sudden is called dit. D-I-T. Because there's movement involved too Exactly. There? Yeah. Okay. Um, it's like there too. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I... Uh, Linnea's dad has been to Glasgow mm-hmm. and he says Jag har varit i Glasgow kanske två gånger, tror jag. Det var jättefint. So he has been to Glasgow perhaps two times, um, tror jag, I think. Um, det var jättefint, it was, it was really nice. Ja, precis. Okay, let's take a break there. Um, we'll be back in just a moment to finish the rest of the conversation. Coffee Break Swedish podcast episodes are free, but did you know there's a full online course available? We offer video versions of the lessons where you see the words and phrases on the screen of your device. There are lesson notes providing further information and additional vocabulary and a bonus audio episode for every lesson. To find out more about our online course, go to coffeebreakswedish.com. Okay, today we are celebrating Linnea's birthday and we have just arrived at the party. So let's continue our conversation now, Hannah. Yeah, so they are more they interested in, in what, what you're doing. So, hur länge har ni varit i Örebro? So, hur länge har ni varit här i Örebro? Uh, how long have you been here in Örebro? Yeah, and you reply, i en vecka, vi åker hem imorgon. So for a week, i en vecka. So it's always i um, in this kind of period of time. We couldn't say för. Yes, yeah, so in most time, uh, when we talk about time, we use the preposition i. Okay, so i en vecka, so for a week. Um, vi åker hem imorgon, so we're going home tomorrow. Ja, um, och vad roligt. Vad har ni gjort för någonting då? Right, so, vad roligt, uh, how fun, how much, how nice, or something like yeah, that. Yeah, and you could swap this with kul. Kul, okay, vad kul. Uh, vad kult, would you say? 
No, vacuole. Uh, vacuole, right. So why would it be vacuole and not vacuole here? Because it would, it's not roly. Because cool doesn't change for some reason. Ah, okay. So it's, in, it's unchangeable, right? Unlike cool. Yeah, precis. <laughs> which does change. Right? You make Swedish sound difficult, Mark, with all these questions. <laughs> okay, so varolit, um, uh, what fun or something like that. And then she says, Vaharni yurt for non gonting to. Ja, and here no gonting is. Uh, the same as något, like when we use något. So something. Or... Yeah, so um, what have you been, what kind of things have you been up to? Yeah, okay, mm. so vaharni yurt. Could she just have said vaharni yurt? Ja, and it would be much more simple. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but people don't speak like that, I no, guess. No, <laughs> exactly. So vaharni yurt för någon ting då. What, what kind of things have you got up to? Ja, precis. And then you... You tell her what you have been doing. So, vi har besökt Örebro slott och vadköping. So, you visited Örebro castle and vadköping. Vi åkte till Askersund också och tittade på slottet där. Does this mean we went to Askersund or we walked to Askersund? So, åkte, åkte is to travel, past tense. Mm-hmm. Uh, you could never say vi... Um, we go to Askersund because then it means that you uh, we walk. Walked. Yeah. Right, okay. Okay, so we, I, I'm just getting mixed up there. Um, we walked to Askersund also. We went to Askersund also. And uh, what did we do there? Och tittade på slottet där. And we looked at the castle there. Ja, um, men det viktigaste saken var att öva på vår svenska och det har vi gjort. Okay, I like the way you said viktigaste Okay. Dropping your G there, softening the G. But the most important thing was, men det viktigaste saken var, att öva på vår svenska. To practice our Swedish, och det har vi gjort, and that we did indeed do. Yes, excellent. Um, and here, here the compliments come are coming, Mark. <laughs> Flooding in. <laughs> uh, yeah, Linnea says, ja, du pratar jättebra svenska. Right, now you slipped over that you in there, just with, with it, as if it didn't even exist, but I'm coming <laughs> back to it, Hannah. So, du pratar ju jättebra svenska, you, you, you speak really good Swedish, but the you, is that just emphasising it? You really do speak good Swedish. Ja, du pratar ju jättebra svenska. So you're, you're swallowing it, you're saying, du pratar ju jättebra svenska. Yeah. <laughs> but that's, that's how a Swede speak. Fair it is, yeah, okay. <laughs> Um, then Linnea's faster asks, "How long have you plugged Swedish?" So, how long have you studied Swedish? Yeah. So, plugga is this verb to study. Yeah, it, it is. is is quite a very informal word. Yeah, like a, a slang word. But, uh, otherwise, you can say studerat, um, for example. And you say. I kanske 18 månader, tror jag. So here we've got another i um, using for a time period. So in perhaps 18 months, I believe, but for in English we would translate that as. So for around a year and a half, 18 months, I believe, tror jag. Ja, precis. And Linnea's dad says, ja, det hörs. Du är jätteduktig ju. So uh, det hörs. Uh, I've seen Hirsch before, as in V Hirsch. Um, we'll hear each other. Um, but this, like, it sounds like it. Yeah, so if we used it, uh, we only said it without this. So, jag hör is I'm hearing. Yeah. But here we put the passive S, so it's heard. It, yeah, it is being heard. So, yeah, the Hirsch. Um, it's that's clear, it's obvious from the way you're speaking or something like that. And that is what's a great RS. Yes, hush. Yep. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> now, this next sentence, du är jätteduktig ju. So, dukti is a, a word that we learned way back that meant, like, clever. Yeah. But it's also what you say to a dog. Yes. It's clever a bit, boy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but the you that's coming in there afterwards, can you say the sentence again with the you in there? Du är jätteduktig ju. So, oh, you really are clever, aren't you, or something? Like yeah, that. it's that emphasis again of 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 something, and it sounds 
a bit, don't take this the wrong way, Mark, but it sounds like he didn't expect it. Uh, but if you put that you there, it's like, oh. You really are. Yeah. Cool. yeah. <laughs> okay. Du har lärt dig så mycket på ett och ett halvt år. Right, so you've learned uh, so much in a year and a half. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Louisa comes in and says, Hey, honey, det är dags för tårta nu. Kommer ni? Right, now this is completely new to me. Herny, what is herny? Yeah, so we have quite a lot of Swedish words that um, are these, like, if if you just take a step back, have a look at it, if you can separate them. So herny. Oh, right. Yeah, it's just like, listen you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, I, for some reason I thought it was like... Um, friends or guys or something like that <laughs> like a, a plural form or something no 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 swedish is much more simple okay than that. hi herny so listen up um der dags for torta nu it's time for the uh the cake now we don't even have to say a cake we just say cake ah it's time for cake now okay come Marnie, are you coming and you say jättebra och linnea say vi kommer perfect okay it's time to listen again to the conversation hopefully now you'll understand lots more Hej, grattis på födelsedagen, Linnea. Grattis. Tack. Välkomna in. Alla sitter ute i trädgården. Ni behöver inte ta av er skorna. Hur gammal är du nu? Jag fyller 18, så jag är officiellt vuxen nu. Mm. Ja, välkommen till vuxenlivet. Jag går och hjälper till lite, men känner er som hemma. Hej, grattis Linnea. Ja, grattis. Tack. Det här är min faster och min pappa. Hej, jag heter Mac. Trevligt att träffas. Jag heter Katrina. Ja, det är ni som kommer från Skottland. Vi kan prata engelska om ni vill. Nej, tack ändå. Vi är här för att träna på vår svenska. Åh, coolt! Var i Skottland kommer ni ifrån? Vi bor ganska nära Glasgow. Har ni varit där någon gång? Jag har inte varit där, men jag skulle gärna vilja åka dit någon gång. Jag har varit i Glasgow kanske två gånger tror jag. Det var jättefint. Hur länge har ni varit här i Örebro? I en vecka. Vi åker hem imorgon. Åh, oh, vad roligt. Vad har ni gjort för någonting då? Vi har besökt Örebro slott och Vardköping. Vi åkte till Askersund också och tittade på slottet där. Men det viktigaste saken var att öva på vår svenska och det har vi gjort. Ja, du pratar ju jättebra svenska. Hur länge har du pluggat svenska? I kanske 18 månader tror jag. Ja, det hörs. Du är jätteduktig ju. Du har lärt dig så mycket på ett och ett halvt år. Eh, hej hörni. Det är dags för tårta nu. Kommer ni? Jättebra. Vi kommer. That's it for another episode of Coffee Break Swedish. We hope you've enjoyed being with us at Linnea's birthday party. We will leave it there. Don't forget, of course, that you can access the video versions of all of these lessons, along with lesson notes and bonus audio materials, and all that can be found at the Coffee Break Academy at coffeebreakacademy.com. And you can also have a look at our Facebook page where we share things about Swedish culture and Swedish. Perfect. Until the next time, uh, tack så jättemycket. Och oh, hej då. Hej då. You have been listening to a Coffee Break Languages production for the Radio Lingua Network. Copyright 2022, Radio Lingua Limited. Recording copyright 2022, Radio Lingua Limited. All rights reserved. <laughs>